Season low 83 points for the Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie Irving, he's at the podium. Uh, shoot, man, they uh, they did what they were supposed to do. Come out aggressive, backs against the wall, sort of say, and uh, you know we had to weather that storm. So, you know, definitely uh, kind of <laughs> put us on our heels for the rest of the game and just playing catch up, uh, playing their style of basketball. And then they made some big, big timely shots, uh, which carried them, carried them forward. But we had our chances down the stretch. Uh, it was a possession by possession game, you know, both teams battling. So that, that's a good old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned playoff game right there. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, you mentioned the chances down the stretch. Uh, two questions. One was, it, do you think having to fight you back from the 21 point deficit? That kind of fatigue played a role in some of the shots that you missed. You guys as a team missed down the stretch. And secondly, can you just walk us through that last possession where it was kind of a scramble and then Bruce went in on the drive? Yeah, no, I, I think, uh, you know, in any NBA basketball game or any competitive field, you start off down, uh, you're going to have to cl climb your way back out of a hole. Otherwise, the game could go from 21 to 31 um, in a matter of a uh, you know, five minutes, six minutes. So for us to climb back in it and, and give our chance, give ourselves a chance down the stretch. You know, proud of our guys, but obviously there's more, no moral victories when you lose um, in, in a in a situation like this. Uh, you want to come out, uh, you know, kind of with the dub, with, with the win. But uh, what was the second part of your question? I apologize. I was just asking the Bruce Brown. Oh yeah. What was yeah, we, we have a few end of game plays uh, that we like to practice and, and run through. Um, we had an opportunity to execute, and we failed to do so. So um, ended up in Bruce's hands with uh, with a contested layup. Um, you know, usually uh, Bruce puts us in, in a great position to at least have something at the rim that, that goes in. But tonight just didn't go for us. So it's not on him. It's not on any one person. Just got to execute. They they really uh, were physical down the stretch and made it and made it tough. So you got to give him credit. Rachel Nichols with ESPN. Hey, Kai. Um, James sees so much when he's on the court. I can only imagine when he's on the sideline even, he's able to give you guys some really good advice. What in particular is he helpful with when he is in that position, even though he's injured, uh, talking to you guys? I mean, he's, he has so much experience uh, just as a hooper. I mean, you know, he, he, I know it's tough. I know it's eating him alive inside just uh, being on the sideline. So, and he, he does what he can uh, to offer us advice and, and just keeping us balanced and grounded throughout the, you know, it's unfortunate that even in the regular season, he was in, in street clothes when we were playing against the Bucks. Uh, so we're, we're very familiar kind of with this territory we're in. We, we just don't want to, uh, you know, lose our uh, momentum. So he, he tries to keep us going in that sense, and, and we're just thankful and grateful that we have him out, out here with us, on, you know, kind of a player coach. So is it more just um, not specific X's and O's, but more just flow of the game kind of stuff? It's just his presence. I mean, we're, we're all mature uh, at this point in, in terms of guys that have 10-plus years on, on the bench. So uh, we've seen a lot. We've, we've been through a lot. Uh, but like I said, I know it's eating him alive not to be out there, and he's doing what he can to, to stay engaged. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, this is the second game you guys have held in Milwaukee at 86 points. And then Steve even said your defense would have kept you in. I just what, what stood out to you about the way you guys guarded? Uh, I feel like we made it tough uh, at certain points in the game. Uh, but obviously calls could go either way. They get in the bonus, uh, you know, some tough ones. And we, we just, just got to be able to respond better. And that, that's just due to our preparation. Um, in our game planning, you know, a few different things uh, that we probably are looking back at uh, the film tomorrow that were out of our control and uh, a lot of things that were in our control. Uh, you know, just game four, I don't, I don't think it'll be the same flow, but we just got to prepare for whatever's getting thrown at, uh, at us. Last question, Malika Andrews with ESPN. I was just wondering, you know, there's an adage that says the game threes along with elimination games can sometimes be the toughest to, to close out. Did you feel it was a specific adjustment from the box or was it a, a pressure and an attitude that they just had from the get-go that made the difference? 
Uh, tonight just shows you that it could go either way. Uh, you know, in those final, was it less than 24 seconds? Uh, I thought Bud was going to call a timeout. I'm sure other guys on the floor did, and they and they went for the quick two. Uh, and that put them up one. It, it took pressure off them to come down and, and get into an organized set. Uh, but even just plays before then, you know, just in and outs or just a scramble of the ball. And, and that's just good old-fashioned play all basketball. So uh, when we get a less than 90-point scoring game on both sides, you know, you look back at the film, we, we feel like we did a good job defending them. They feel like they did a good job defending us. So game four should be, should be special. Um, but we're definitely going to take our lessons from this game and, and move on to the next one. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Thanks so much, everybody.